guys, we're at Lowe's with Jackson. Practicing a nice heel in the parking lot before we head in the store. Um, this is really good to expose our dogs to an environment like this once they have a good foundation of obedience. Um, it's going to expose them to new noises, loud sounds, new people, new environment, and just teaching him that all the obedience he's learned in the past few weeks with us applies here as well. Here we go. All right, guys, here we are. We're healing in the aisles. You guys hear all those new noises? It's hard for him, but he's got a job to focus on, stay and heal, and I have a system to hold him accountable, which is my e-collar. So we're walking the aisles making sure he doesn't become overwhelmed with these new noises and all these people and the carts walking by. If he becomes too invested in something, that's when I click the stim. If he loses heel position, that's when I'll click the tone. We're just walking up and down the aisles. That's a seven, and he puts his chin down. That it might even be a little high. I'm gonna go even down a little further. So now he's in a down stay. Let's see how well he can hold this down stay. Now we're gonna send him to place on something he's never been before and that he might be unsure of. Place. Beep. See how that beep helps him on? No. Place. Good boy. Stuff like this raises his confidence. Good boy. He thinks it's scary. He thinks it's unsure. He thinks it's gonna hurt him. So originally, he doesn't want to get on, then he gets on and then he gets off, but he knows he's, he knows he's being held accountable, so he's got to get on. Let's see if we can get him a little more relaxed. Good, that's what I was looking for. That settled Living position, chin down. Good boy. With a little help from and AARP, Jackson. We share a commitment Come. To Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Nice work. 